and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Mardu Hero. We got a donation deck to try another uh, three color aggro deck, another three color hero precinct one deck, uh, similar to Naya Feather that we played earlier. Uh, that was same kind of thing. Uh, you know, hero with three colors, but this time we're going Mardu because we get Judith, the Scourge Diva. I've played a an okay amount of like the Mardu aggro with this kind of shell and haven't had the most success. Uh, but there's a couple of different card choices in here that that I like. Um, one, I haven't played too much heroic reinforcements in these kind of decks, and honestly, I think that that that's a card that I was missing out on. I think this is just a a really powerful card and one that is that is certainly worth the slots in the deck here. Um, lo yeah, so really liking Heroic Reinforcements. Um, Deafening Clarion main deck is pretty interesting. I I have found that these Mardu aggros kind of struggle against other aggros, like struggle against Mono Red and stuff. And so having the Clarions in the main deck to, you know, do either mode in these kind of creature matchups, you can either deal three damage to everything if you need to, if you're behind, or just give your creatures lifelink if you're ahead. The other really cool thing about Deafening Clarion in this deck is there may be times you actually want to kill all of your creatures. When you have Cruel Celebrant and Judith the Scourge D Diva in your in your uh, in play, especially Cruel Celebrant, it could be that like just killing all of your creatures, you can get enough triggers to kill your opponent um, with that, honestly. So that's that's pretty interesting to try out. Um as far as kind of looking at the deck list, a couple of things I'm a little worried about with us only having, like this deck only has 22 lands. That's one less than we had with the, the Naya Feather. So I'm a little worried about our different mana color combinations with 22 and like all these four drops. Um, and, and, you know, like I was talking about, worried about other red decks. I like the Clarion, but our sideboard doesn't have like anything for aggro matchups. And I'm, I'm worried, so I'm worried about those aggro matchups. Um, but having like Elder Spell and Spyglass seems a little overkill. And same with 22 land deck, having Liliana and the Immortal Sun. I don't know if we'll ever be able to cast these cards. But that's just kind of going into it. Some stuff I'm worried about, but we're going to go ahead and try it out. Um, yeah, let's hopefully kill some people quickly here with Mardu Hero. All right, let's get started. Of course, hadn't hadn't played any of the games though with the deck, so I could could certainly be wrong. I've been wrong plenty of times. Say, so, Esper has been the only hard matchup. So you've been doing good against Mono Red. That was Mono Red was a deck that I couldn't really beat with this deck before. You do have Soren, which is awesome against Red, of course, if you have the creatures out. Okay, Mono Red's not that bad. Cool. Hey, Lordarian. Lordarian. All right, good. Good opener. I mean, we have tw only 22 lands in the deck, right? So, like, we shouldn't uh, draw other lands. But we get our best turn two play. And then we can protect it with... And we can follow up with removal. Um, let's actually go Judith. I think killing Steamkin next turn is perfectly fine. Like, I don't think that, like, this turn is, like, I have to kill Steamkin. So getting the Judith in play gives my opponent, like, two uh, creatures that are ones that they may want to kill. And I am going to be using Bedevil on Steamkin. I'm going to try to save, see if we can save Mortify. For the, for like a Frenzy. Alright, well definitely killing Steamkin now. Yeah, they couldn't. They couldn't build Steamkin uh, 
big enough that last turn. I mean, they could have if they had three one mana spells, but that was pretty unlikely. All right, well, I still have a Mortify in the chamber for a Frenzy. Got him down to seven. We've done a really good job of drawing spells after I kept the five lander. We've drawn all spells. Can't complain. Oh, yeah, being on the play definitely helped a lot here. And especially them not having, you know, like a shock or anything like that. Oh, no. That's really bad. That's quite bad. Yep, the next set is going to be Core Set 2020, and that will be in. That's going to be coming to Arena July 14th ish. So a little over a month. All right, go a little two one. Down to four. Down to three. You want to go, tough guy? Not really. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Ooh, butcher. It's cruel celebrant. Yeah, it does target for for tokens and everything too, doesn't it? All right, down to one. Yeah, reinf reinforcements. Another, uh, another dreadhorde butcher. Butcher. Well. Dang. So close. Aristocrats is whenever you are sacrifice. I feel like aristocrat decks, you're trying to. You have like sacrifice outlets where you're trying to sacrifice your own stuff. This is a hero deck. Hero Precinct 1 deck. Or Mardu Aggro would work as well. You know, I just don't have anything for this matchup. Um. I don't really like Sarah for the scales here. It doesn't, doesn't match up too well. I think I just go with this again. Now, Tajik's not... You're th a three-mana creature that just gets shocked is not good against red. It can prevent hero tokens from getting chain world. It's like the best thing it can do. But they just kill this very easily before playing chain whirler, you know, like.
Um, I think we could use like maybe like just more. I don't want more Clarions in the sideboard. I like Clarion a, a bunch. I could I think we could use some more for this kind of matchup. Um, I mean, honestly, I feel like we could have our own. I feel like this deck could just play its own frenzies in the sideboard instead of things like Liliana and Immortal Sun. I think friends I think experimental frenzy is better than than those things and I would I would play experimental frenzies in this matchup I've got some of the other fours There you go, BCD, good. Really glad that they activated the Steamkin, didn't keep it a 4-4, so the Clarion can still clean this up. I guess if they even if it was a 4-4, the Clarion could clean it up with Footlight Fiend. Intro. What does this tech have light up the stages? I guess I should have attacked there first. That was quite unfortunate. That shock off the top. So they never played a land with that frenzy, so we know whatever card that was in hand, they drew a spell. I like whatever that whatever that was, that was a spell.
All right, we may need some cruel celebrant triggers to gain life. But chain whirler, one chain whirler doesn't kill these things. I'll take that. I wonder if this deck should just be playing Light of the Stages. Not really sure why it wouldn't. You know, like one mana, draw two. It's pretty good. <laughs> No, Teo's not really that good against Mono Red. Uh, it's very easy just to kill Teo before doing more damage to yourself. We only need one more land, so we're going to go ahead and ship that to the bottom. I guess we don't have like a, a ton of one drops for light at the stage. But even sideboard wise, that's got to be more useful than like Liliana's and Immortal Sons. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be. Ooh, no charter course. So if this is mono blue, and if they have trickster, attacking with footlight fiend just sacrifices it to like if there's a trickster. So they they should wait till I attack. Because if I just if I attack first. They could have just ate the Footlight Fiend for free. No, because, no, Terramander wouldn't die. No, yeah, because they would <clears throat> make the Footlight Fiend would not have no ability. And so they would just be able to eat it. Resolve. <laughs> no, Parm, you're smart. You figured it out r right there immediately. You're good.
I don't think it's worth paying two life uh, for a, a heroic reinforcements here when it's just certainly going to get countered. Like there's there's no other option besides heroic reinforcements getting countered here. All that does is just make me pay two life. Um, Gives them, puts another spell in their graveyard, which helps the Terramanders turn on. That is not something I want either. So, I mean, we're going to win this race here, so might as well just keep attacking. They're gonna counter like these things. Like, if I if I play these things, it just turns on the counter spells in their hand. Getting counter spells in their graveyard, not ideal. With Terramander. I don't want to let these Terramanders start being five fives. I was targeting that one, so we want to target this one. Pay two. So they need to draw it. Ooh. No attacks there. Um they need to draw like a a trickster would have killed me there. Or even just just any creature to block. Like any any one or two mana creature would have killed me. But obviously we drew the removal spell, so. Uh, it's a the Niv Niv Reborn that I have is a control is like a control deck. You can find the deck list here on my stream decker page.
All right, well, Kaya's Wrath could kill a bunch of things. Hmm. Hey, TT, thank you so much for that donation. Join stream YouTube videos for a while. Donation deck time for me. Call it this Naya God. So Sideboard's finally in a good place in the metagame. All right, thanks, TT. Yeah, that deck looks pretty sweet. A Kiora deck. And there's that that uh, deck list there. All right, so if we play Kaya's Wrath and play Seraphs. Maybe cut Sorns and Heroic Reinforcements. Give me this Tajik. Maybe not Kai's Wrath. I just want all like all the creatures. I don't want like this those spells that get spell pierced really easily. I just want the creatures in there. We still have some removal spells with the Mortifies Bedevils in case there is big flyers. All right, five card hand for them over there, four card hand. That's not very good. <laughs> Kihara is really making a splash in the current metagame. I see what you did there. I'm gonna wait on Footlight Fiend till after Hero. It's not like Footlight Fiend makes that big of a difference playing it on turn one or turn three, you know, like two damage. We can get that extra 1-1 one, one that maybe helps out more. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> hey, what's up, Yud? Hope your Thursday's going well. Counter. So if my opponent just lets the Butcher resolve right away, I'm just going to attack with the Butcher and then they could Trickster it. Oh, but they wanted to do this. Alright, so they have one card in hand. Uh, Butcher's too good. I'm going to say no blocks. We already have the Foot Light Fiend that can block next turn. Oh, Deckmaster started working? Yeah, looks like Deckmaster's working now. Oh, they played the Terramander first? No, opponent, don't play the Terramander first. Play that after combat.
Oops. Just don't need to let them draw cards. If I sack Dreadhorde Butcher, that deals three, four, five, six, puts them down to four. Sack this thing. This could get countered. The last card's a Spell Pierce. All right. All right, Martyr Hero, back, back to one on one here. Yeah, they. I mean, they mulliganed to four. That game, Achilles. They didn't have much of a. I mean, they. You know, they played a respectable game, but yeah, they mulliganed down to four. That's really tough to. Tough to compete there. Attack. Well, this one's going good for us so far, even though even with us just having the two lands, we have good mana. All of our all three of our colors. Bleh. Why, why does that thing have to be a one three? Hey, what's up, Prugor? Jamming as many planeswalkers as will fit is not brilliant deck building. Yeah, just 60 planeswalkers. There you go. Call it a day. Whoa! Prugor is gifting out the subs. So, uh, Vampire, Nineballer, Riptide, Tireless Tribal, and Quintel. Hope you all are, hope you all enjoy your subs. Thank you so much there, Santa Prugor. Prugor says, come on, come on, come on, someone match. Ooh, we'll see if anybody matches. And all these Oath of Kayas? These are rude. So much life. We get to gain. Yeah, that's how I went back. But Storm, this is your deck, the Esper one.
find you quickly. Yes, we are only two sub two subs away from that next goal there. Thank, thanks to Prugor. So yeah, if you're enjoying the stream, would also would like to subscribe as well. Help support the channel, get access to all those really cool emotes. Only time will tell. Game. All the life. Oh, there's another one. Oh, Dark Space gifted another sub. So we're at sub number nine. All your queen necromancer. Sorry, yeah, I missed that. Smelly, but effective. I missed that. My bad. Hmm. Having their creatures die when they have Liliana out is not ideal for me. <laughs> it's okay, Chronic Slayer. Our opponent really wants to win this matchup. <laughs> All of this life gain, every like that's their deck is certainly built to beat ours. I can see why you're saying that Esper is tough. All these Oath of Kaya's. <laughs> Rise and shine. Then kill her. So I, the thing I'm worried about, if I, if I minus Soren and get back Judith, Do not ruin I don't want them friend. to be able to kill Aurelia here and then Thieva Sanity kills my Soren. Them getting a Thief of Sanity trigger on me isn't really that big of a deal. <laughs> yep, that's true. I interact with Chad and not with the memes. That is, that is true. Hmm. 
Hmm. Wasn't really expecting that, to be honest. Not expecting that. Well, obviously I wish I would have just minus Soren first. I don't I don't know what the upside of waiting for me to draw my card and cast Aurelia and stuff before you dispersal like that. I guess I would wish I would have just minus the Soren and brought back the Judith and then done that. Because that's I was planning on playing Aurelia and still I was that was my line was to mine a Soren and get the Judith back. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> I definitely can't clarify on this board. I can't. I have to kill Liliana before I kill the creatures. Because otherwise they just draw tons of cards and I'm dead. So we're in a really rough spot here. I have come for vengeance and blood. So that's Don't how it is. Be the strong. Playing Soren just like last time because because the life gain because of like all these creatures and everything. Honestly, just want this life gain. And not minusing to grab Judith because then Soren would die very easily because then they would, you know, attack some stuff at Soren and, you know, be a one loyalty. Yeah, this this tells you how many tokens are on the stack. So they have four tokens right there. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. This, there's just the three. Dang. <laughs> nice, Veer Day. So why not attack first? Is because I wanted the life link. Because Soren gives Soren gives my Aurelia life link. But they're like they they know what my cards do. They're gonna yeah. I added in that that deck list thing on the side of the stream. If you don't if you don't like it, like down at the bottom of the stream, you can click like a button to get rid of it. Liliana's just so dang powerful. <sighs> can't even like make any good blocks because otherwise they just draw so many cards. Like you just can't let them draw these cards.
Your boldness is so cute. I... <laughs> Looks like you're on your own now. What a mess I've made. All right, now we can draw Clarion. Now we can draw Clarion. If I attack Liliana, then they block with their creatures, and their creatures die, and then they draw cards. So that's 12 coming in there now. Rid of everything. All right, let's see if we can get this Clarion. You'd use the Mortify to get these things and attack in. Yeah, you'd you would certainly die. They would draw a card off of that, and then they would just do blocking to draw more cards, and then the Liliana would still stay alive. You have that line gives you zero percent chance of winning. You, yeah, you can like that. This way, we we have a chance with Clarion because we actually got Liliana off the battlefield. And didn't let them just draw millions of cards. Hey, Brad the Dad with the tier 2 sub. Thanks so much, Brad. All right, we're still alive. Still alive. For a little bit. Uh-oh. Well, Soren just brings back the uh, deputies. Dang. Well, we almost... Almost came back. Definitely need the Clarions.
I guess I probably okay. So like, there's. We have like a whole bunch of random cards in here that could maybe help. I don't think you actually want Kai's Wrath in this matchup, but I mean, like, if the game just randomly goes to like how that last one went, but they're gonna go like they're gonna they're gonna be sideboarding into a lot more of a controlling deck instead of like having the creatures nearly as much. That's what they're going to be sideboarding in. It's a whole bunch of little things there. I'm going to get rid of the celebrants. They're just small. Um, how do I get rid of all these things? So full life fiends out, and then uh, we take out mortify. We just have clarions and bedevils for creatures, if they still have the creatures in. Like, why do I have Liliana and Immortal Sun? Yeah, Clarion's basically just our safety valve in case we do get behind Hero or, or if they do still have Deputy at Detention, that kind of stuff. some lands not the best looking hands there with like one land one land two land yeah these hands have not been good Expecting my hero precinct one to die, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe we can trade heroes. Please do not have Thief of Sanity. Please do not have Thief of Sanity. Yay. Alright, we could do this. We can do this. We draw another land. We have been ripping these lands. Every draw step so far has been a land. If we draw another one... We could do this. Alright, so the question, do I just spark right now? Or just try to land this sun? Let's just try to land the sun. This is hardly my worst defeat. I'm not expecting our opponent to have veto at all. Most, um, most of these decks that I've seen these days don't have, have zero vetoes. Like, they just don't have counter magic anymore. Um, even if they may have, like, a little bit of counter magic, it's, I don't even know if they'll have it in this matchup. I'm known for my, you know what? I'm How little you. cards we have. I was, I would rather save, like, I could see them having, like, uh, Ixalan's Binding to get rid of the Immortal Sun. And I, I just wanted to save that just in case. There. Through feud or feast, 
Your blood is mine. You belong to me now. Hey, Nick. Yeah, that makes sense, having all those Tyrant Scorns and everything. You know, like, they are they wanted to have a lot of removal. And, like, those are the cards that I'm expecting them to have. It's not too, no too surprising. Time for the land. All right, we're still in there. Once they kill a mortal son, I lose. Dang. I killed a mortal son. Teferi ultimates, and you, know, you cannot beat Teferi ultimate. Well, we gave it a try. Gave it a try there. All right, so things about the deck. Uh, basically, everything that I was worried about kind of came to fruition playing these decks. So moving forward, I'd really say the 22 lands with, like, the three colors is just too little of lands. I think 23 is, like, the, the, cor the correct number. For these three color decks. Um, so just, just adding in one more land. You know get like a basic in there somewhere. Also like it's nice having a basic. In the deck. Um, so yeah that would be like the first thing. Get get a. Um, no we went one and two. There. Um, and then sideboard wise. I'm not too big of a fan of most all of these cards in the sideboard. I don't think Seraph of the Scales is very good these days. Liliana, Mortal Sun, costing so much mana. I think Tajik is either you play a couple in the main deck or, or you just don't play this card. Don't really care for Spike Glasses. Like, I'd recommend having... Yeah, I basically just don't want any of those cards. Um, if we have, like, really just get some, some other Planeswalkers in here. Get, like, a couple more Sorens, or get, get a couple Chandras, get a Soren. Some, like, those cards for the Esper matchup. Um, I do like Clarion, I do like the Clarions. I think, I think a third Clarion would be good, but I'd also just put those in the sideboard, honestly. And get more heroic reinforcements. I think like the strength of this this deck may be like heroic reinforcements. Honestly. Um maybe some Othakayas for the aggro matchup. Or you could have like Basilica Bell Haunt. Yeah, maybe Belhan instead of that. For mono red. Belhan's awesome. Basically the the whole the whole problem is I just have not never like Cruel Celebrant is just not too impressive. That's kind of the, one of the big problems. Yeah, there's two swords in the main deck with like another one over here. Um, I've been really happy with Gideon against like Esper Control. If we want something like on the three mana slot 
instead of like all these other cards that are four. Get a couple of Gideons in there too. So maybe a Plains or a Swamp for another land. You need all, all 12 of the shock lands with these kind of decks. You have to have all the shock lands because it's just really bad whenever you have whenever you don't whenever you have like too many of the other ones. So maybe maybe just go in there. Maybe just get in that other shock land in there. Maybe three of those. I'm not sure if you really want to really uh um maybe you want like war boss. Maybe like some like another three mana threat that's not not like Aurelia. Maybe. I I know the Clarion does some cool things there. Um Alright, if if we're playing the Clarions, maybe just cut some of these bring some of these mortifies over to the sideboard then. Just seems like that's just kind of too much three mana removal. Celebrant and Fireblade Artist are like my two least favorite other threats in there. Tibalt was good as well. War Boss. Um, Midnight Reaper is another good one. Get some card draw in there. Yeah, I'm not not sold on the Aurelias, but it's nice to have flying, as we saw like that game against the Liliana. It's nice to have the flying. Yeah, Angrass Rampage is good. But anyway, I'm not sure exactly what to do with the main deck. Um, like I said, I don't love Aurelia or this many three mana removal spells or like and stuff like that. But sideboard wise, I didn't like those cards in the sideboard. I'd really recommend having more like a, these kind of planeswalkers, like Chandra, the other Ajani, Gideon. Um, yeah, like Gideon, Chandra. Soren, like that, those kind of cards instead of the six mana cards, um, and then need some more against red, like a you know need it like a third Clarion in here. The Basil Basilica Bell Haunts would help out a lot there against red. Uh, so some stuff like that there. But yeah, you're trying. Yeah, so um, so there we go. All right, Mardu Hero, um, some good games there. Learn some good stuff there. Um, all right. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned some stuff as well. Uh, but that's it here for Mardu Hero. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you for another video.